Hi, it's Steve Parker with Operation Lockdown in Amarillo, Texas, and today we're going to um, basically going to use the uh, black hole exploit kit to uh, infect this computer, and then I'm going to show you how to manually remove it. If you haven't seen this exploit, it's a uh, <laughs> it's quite the uh, it's quite the uh, creature. So I uh, grab one of the links off the uh, malware domain list site and open a new tab here paste it in here and let it rip now the exploit kit itself actually exploits a couple of different vectors um, one of them being in Java I believe another one is in Adobe Reader and so basically what happens if you don't have any lockdown technology and my virus protection is actually kicked in here but it's not flagged here at all so evidently it's not aware of this um, particular uh, file but here's the uh, lockdown, the uh, Pharonix anti-executable is uh, flagged here. So we're going to do something we should never ever do if we're just surfing the, the web. And that's hit allow. Um, almost certainly you would always want to hit deny here. Basically what, what this means is that the uh, website is basically trying to auto-execute a file. And that could be anything from a Trojan downloader to um, a rootkit. So you definitely want to hit deny here. But since um, we're, we're, we're basically showing a demonstration of how to remove this, so I'm going to go ahead and infect it by hitting allow. I'm going to enter my password. <coughs> and there we go. There's the uh, black hole. And they call it a black hole because, as you can tell, I cannot get my mouse out of this center box. And it doesn't matter what I do. If I try to, to, to bring up the uh, task manager, it um, always gets a flash on the screen. It never fires up. I can't try to kill the task. Um, I can't get down to the start menu. If I do hold the control button down and hit escape, I can actually fire up another program. Like here, I can try to go, go and fire up malware bytes. Um, the problem is, is that the uh, black hole um, file here that's running has basically taken full focus and I cannot get um, focus on any other program so I can't really tell them what to do. So basically what, you're, what you end up with is a computer that you basically are just going to have to turn off. And um, so I'm going to try to go ahead and, and shut this down cleanly and let's see if this will go down. And unfortunately, I don't believe this computer can actually go into standby. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and hold our power button down and turn it off. Okay. So now um, what we're going to do is we're going to go into the safe mode. Of course, we do that by hitting the F8 key just before the, the menu. And I'm going to come up here and go to uh, the safe mode. And let it fire up here it's obvious uh, why I'm using an external camera because of the fact that I uh, can't use the uh, my, uh, my Camtasia that I normally would use here um, to show you demonstrations because we're going to be doing a lot of uh, the rebooting here and it's also important to, to, to know um, how to get into the safe mode. One of the tricks to get into the safe mode too, if, um, if you can't seem to, to hit that F8 key, that's a Frank, um, I mean F is in Frank, um, 8 key. If you can't hit that um, in time, you can always hold the button down as soon as you see the Windows icon or the Windows splash page. And then on your next reboot, it will automatically go to that menu. So here we're going to go into go into um, the uh, the user that I was using, and um, so now we're uh, we're booting into the safe mode, and we're going to see what happens here. And that's about all we get. All right. Okay, so. It looks like uh, Explorer's not running. Let's see if we can bring up the task manager and do a new task. We we'll go to Explorer. And we get my documents. Hmm, how clever. Okay. So, <clears throat> basically, what's happened here is we've got a hijack of the shell. 
So there's a couple of different ways that, that we can we can do something. If you have malware bytes installed and if it's up to date, one of the things that you can do here is, um, and I don't know how far it needs to be up to date, but you can type in mbam um, into, go to file from the task manager, go to new task and type in mbam and then that's basically going to fire up your malware bytes and if you want to take the time and let it scan in the background um, it will eventually find this and be able to uh, fix the registry key. If you want to fix it basically on your own then type in regedit and let's fire up the the registry editor and the key that's actually going to be um, affected here and you can do this from the safe mode command prompt if you want to. Once you come up to the command prompt just type in regedit and, um, and it will fire this, um, this particular window up. And so we want to go to the uh, local machine, we want to go to software, we want to come down here to Microsoft we want to come down here to Windows NT. Okay, make sure you do Windows NT and then current version. And then we're going to come down here to where it says a Win Login. Let me maximize this real quick so you can see this. And there's our Win our Win Login. And I'm going to go ahead and exit that right there so you can see this is the key on the very bottom. Hopefully you can read it. It is HKEY Local Machine Software Microsoft Windows NT Current Version Win Logon. And the value that's changed here is we're going to look at the shell. And you can see there it's actually pointing to a temporary file within the Dell user um, profile. And um, that should certainly not be like that. So let's go ahead and wipe that clean. And what we're going to do is going to put in Explore. EXE and then hit OK and close that out and close that out and close that out and hit Control Alt Delete bring our task manager up shut down and restart and basically what that does is that writes back to the key so that it executes the Explorer as a shell and not that um, that particular window which is the uh, payload load delivered by the uh, black hole exploit let it boot back up here and we should be ready to rock and roll. Now once we get back into Windows the first thing we're going to want to do is go ahead and scan the computer with a malware bytes to basically remove the, um, the, the payload file um, which is normally going to be in your um, user uh, profile, uh, local you know, uh, settings and in your temp folder and uh, once we've got those removed then because we don't want to take a chance on, uh, on, on tripping over that and executing it again and winding up in the same black hole. <coughs> Let's boot up and verify that we are clean once again and this is a trick that can be used on a lot of different um, computers. There are a lot of programs out there that basically use the same technique by basically replacing that particular key so keep that in mind as well and some other exploits um, basically in the Windows uh, safe mode version, win Windows normal mode version, um, this can actually take effect and you will basically, um, it, will, it will be just like your computer's been hijacked. So it looks like we're clean now, we've got the uh, Explorer fired up and, um, and so we've, uh, we've done a good job here without having to actually scan the computer at all. So once again, Steve Park with Operation Lockdown, Amarillo, Texas, and we'll see you in the next video.